Hello guys, welcome back to another lesson. Let's add in some white noise effects now to our track or our loop rather that we're making purely with Retrolog sounds and nothing else. Let's go do the white noise. So I've initialized Retrolog as you can see. Back to the standard format. I've drawn in a MIDI note all the way across the screen as you can see just to trigger our white noise that we're going to be using. So let's turn off oscillator one and turn on the noise leave it on white noise, leave the volume on maximum and this is what the MIDI note will sound like to start with. Obviously just noise all the way along. So obviously we need to shape this a little bit with filters and what have you. So let's first we'll turn our envelope right up and bring in the attack right up so the cutoff frequency will open up very very slowly. So as you can see, this is a white noise riser effect, which you can obviously get from many different sample packs, but I'm just showing you how you can make this yourself. So what we've done is we've used a white noise generator and we've adjusted the filter envelope so it opens very, very slowly. So the cutoff is opening, you know, as time goes on and you can hear that when we just played it. And what we can also do is add in a little bit of amplifier attack as well on the envelope just so the volume comes in a bit slower as well add a bit of resonance add a bit of distortion just turn it down a little bit And obviously what we're doing here is this this would be a you know a white noise riser to go on to the next section if this was a real track you'd have another section here maybe the chorus or something and this effect is just leading into that that's what we're trying to do here but it doesn't have to stop there we can add in for example an lfo to do the pan so you get like an auto pan kind of effect So you can hear that panning. The frequency of the panning will be controlled here, so I'll just turn that down a little bit. So you can now hear the white noise going from left to right slowly. Obviously, you can add in some reverb, some delay, just to thicken it out a little bit. Why not try a phaser? Sometimes put chorus on my white noise risers or something like that. Let's just have a look, see what we got. Or try the modulation instead. Right, preset, let's just try a bit of chorus. Or of course you can try a resonator. Try the moving bat. So you can hear that gives it quite a nice effect. So that's probably it for this lesson. That was quite a, quite an easy one to do. Just white noise with a bit of filtering envelope, a bit of amplifier envelope, some LFOs modulating the pan, and obviously putting on some effects like chorus and that kind of thing. 
So that's it really for our little loop. Every single one of these instruments, if you've been following along, you'll know, but has been created with Retrolog only. Including the kick, the clap, just for people that have joined late, that's all. So what we're going to be doing in the next couple of lessons is having a look at the uh, Retrolog side chain input and also having a look through the presets that I made for our new BTP1 presets bank and I'm going to show you how I made them. So I'll see you then guys, bye bye.